All right, what up, YouTube? It's Doom NYC here with Battle Pack Epic Dawn review. All right, so this is the Konami website, Yu-Gi-Oh-Card.com. Uh, most of you guys have already been here, have seen this post, and are pretty much highly anticipating uh, Battle Pack Epic Dawn. So uh, let's go into what you can expect from the set. Uh, you can expect the set has 220 cards, 55 rares, and 165 commons. And then every card in the set are available as special shiny cards. So uh, that's not too bad. Um, at 36 packs per box, and you know, each pack costing you two dollars, that's 72 dollars a box. But if you pre-order the stuff, you can get it way cheaper than that. So. Um, let's start off with what you can expect from a pack of Epic Dawn. So it, each pack has five cards. You got three commons. You got one rare with glossy white or black like the Duelist League cards. Um, that's pretty awesome because we haven't gotten that in like a regular pack at all. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then we get one special card that's similar to basically the dual terminal um the dual terminal rare so that's pretty good um so now all 220 can be um gotten in like the dual terminal parallel rare type of card so you know for any of the commons in the set you can get it like that um okay now let's get into the cards now a lot of cards you guys are gonna see on Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki if you decide to look it up there. Um, a lot of these cards are actually banned cards. Not a lot, but a few of them. I uh, don't think these things are coming off the ban list anytime soon. I mean, Witch of the Black Forest, you can get as a rare. And this card is banned. Um, Demox in here, you know, he's banned, uh, you know, Makura the Destroyer. He's banned and he's available as a common, but you know anyway whatever so we're gonna go we're gonna talk about the cards in the set you know the stuff that's you know worthy of being talked about so first off we've got rare tour guide now there's 55 rares in the set and you get about you get 36 rares in a box 36 out of 55 what that means is, is that means that each box you're only gonna get 36 rares so you can't get all of the rares in one box and not to mention that if you get any doubles in any of the rares then you're gonna get even less than 36 so uh, don't be surprised guys if you only buy one box of this and you own and you don't get any tour guides you know I wouldn't be shocked if, especially if tour because they know that you know you guys want tour guides they're gonna make money selling these individually so for all the younger guys out there, the kids who buy packs of this stuff, like, uh, they're just gonna keep buying and buying and buying. Honestly, the most cost effective way, if you just want to get Tour Guide and Tour Guide alone, I would wait until the set comes out, buy it on eBay or go to your locals and, and get it. You know, you probably spend, like, for the rare, you probably spend maybe about 20 bucks to get one. You know, it's a lot better than spending 120 on buying the secret rare you know or and then this also comes in hollow like dual terminal that one's probably going to be a little bit more maybe about 30 to 40 dollars but i think after the reprint i think after the reprint tour guys probably going to drop in price to maybe about 60 a piece 65 it all depends on how easy it is to get tour guides out of this set um Next, we've got Demok as a rare, so that's obviously awesome. Caius, Ryza, Mobius, these are rares. Um, out of these, like the only monarch I really want as the rare would be Mobius because I mean I have hollow versions of Caius and Ryza already. Obelisk, uh, Gem Knight Pearl. This is actually a card I'm looking to get um, more so for my uh, XYZ collection. I mean, so far I have them all, so I'm definitely in need. I need to get Gem Knight Pearl obviously for the for the collection. Tyrus and Adrius as rares, that's pretty awesome. Utopia, Granosaurus, and Gachi Gachi. I mean, these are structured deck cards, guys. You know, they don't need to be reprinted, but whatever. Neither does Leviathan or Wind Up Zen. Zenmeister <laughs> is not even being used, not even being played. I haven't even seen a deck run this card, period. Like, 
I would never ever put this in windups, much less any other deck. It makes absolutely no sense. Maybe they make something good for it later on, but for now, it's just terrible. It's a terrible card. I don't know why they were printing it. Right, Geki's in here. Come on, guys. Seriously, this guy, this card's not getting reprinted. Dark Bribe as a rare, which means you get this in glossy white or black, and you can get it in like dual terminal form. That's awesome. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. This is some common stuff here. The common most, the two commons of most note is Forbidden Lands because this card's what like fifteen to twenty dollars super, so that's getting printed as common. And then you getting, and then they also have Doom Caliber Knight, which is somewhere over here. Oh, here it is, Doom Caliber Knight, which is also being reprinted as a common. And of course, you can get it as a parallel rare. So uh, those are the two commons that I mean, pretty much. The rest of the comments to me just look like trap. Oh, speaking of which, and then Fabled Raven. Okay, so there's three, so far there's three commons that are good. But again, I don't want any of these as common, to be quite honest with you. In fact, when I make decks, I don't want to say that my decks are blinged out or anything like that, or the most expensive cards ever. But I don't really like putting, I mean, if I'm play testing and I don't really care, then yeah, I'll make a deck full of commons. I mean, that's no problem, but. You know, when I'm really like putting decks together, especially for videos to show you guys, like I don't want to have commons in there, you know. I want to have the good stuff. So, Raven as a common, uh, hopefully, if I do buy these, I'm going to probably, you know, if I pull some of the parallel rare ones, that'd be cool. Doom Cal, same thing. Forbidden Lance, of course. Now, now we're going to go into cards that are more, you know, they don't know what the rarities are yet, but. Uh, could be, you know, rares, possibly. We got Gores, Pot of Avarice, uh, you know, Crabons. Fiendish Chain, that's pretty awesome. Uh, guys, if you've been paying attention, like, luckily, see, this is why I always buy cards, you know, when they're really low in price. Like, even though nobody knows about it, I mean, come on. When I bought Absolute Power Force, I read the effect of Fiendish Chain, and I'm like, wow, this is pretty good. I'm just going to hold on to them. And back then, they were like really, really cheap. I mean, I didn't buy them. I pulled them in packs, but they were really cheap back then. And now look at them. Phoenix Chain's going for like 40 to 45 each. That's pretty ridiculous. Um, more than likely, I don't think it's going to be a common. I think it'll be a rare because it's really good. So, you know, uh, expect the supers to drop maybe to about 20 to 25 and the rare version of this will probably be about 10 bucks. Um, Cyber Dragons in here, Wind Up Dog and Soldier. More than likely, they will reprint these as commons, but if they don't and they reprint them as, you know, rares, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, me, especially, I want the Soldier for my Wind Up deck because I just find that the Soldier is just too good. Um, Snowman Eater and Morphing Jar. You know, they're in the set as well. Uh, little things of note. Um, apparently, someone told me that 40% of the cards in here are XYZ monsters. I don't think that's true, but because, because seriously, you wouldn't be able to, you know, you wouldn't be able to um, have that many XYZs. I mean, 40% of 220 is... 85 cards so you know if you're thinking about 85 xyz's in here i mean that sounds good but it can't be i would you know estimate maybe it have maybe half of that if we had like even 40 is just way too many so i'm thinking the sets two out of 220 maybe 20 20 of them or so are going to be xyz's uh, people are talking about Roach being in the set, which is pretty awesome. I mean, obviously, it's not confirmed yet. What is confirmed, though, is Zen Mains will not be in the set, and neither will Maxi. Um, speaking of which, let's talk about Maxi for a second, guys. Um, have you seen the price of that card lately? I was like, oh my god, when I saw it. I couldn't believe the price of Maxi had gone up that much um it's just pretty ridiculous in my opinion you know i looked on ebay i saw it it's like 120 dollars. people are selling it for that's a little bit ridiculous in my opinion 
um, $120. Wow. You go to your locals, any card shops, you know, you're going to spend maybe about 90 to 100 bucks for each one now. And it's pretty funny, like, you know, when I put stuff up on my channel for sale and people respond and they give me offers, like someone offered me for the Max C and I actually I took it, I agreed to it. I was like, yeah, um, he wanted, I think he wanted two of them. I was going to sell it to him and it was really cheap. I mean, looking back at it now, he would have came out really, really. I mean, he could have took it from me and then he could have flipped it on eBay right now for like, you know, whatever it's going for. And you know that i mean guys you know when i put stuff up and you make offers and i say okay you know do you got to really follow through and you got to say okay i'm i'm sending the money to your paypal you know this is my address or whatever now if that guy came back to me and he's like yeah i want it i'll be like sorry dude i'm not going to sell it for that price anymore because it's selling way higher so you know that just goes to show you maxi so maxi i doubt it it's not going to be in the set um, my prediction for when Maxi will be reprinted, well, I don't want to tell you guys that yet. But um, yeah, this is the Battle Pack Epic Dawn. Um, guys, tell me what you think about the set. I was thinking about buying a case, but uh, I'm not really too sure if I really want all of this common stuff. I mean, Ancient Gear Knight. I mean, re cannot really Konami. <laughs> Ancient Gear Knight, like that was like one of the cards you chose to reprint. But anyway, you know, I may buy a couple boxes, maybe four to five. I don't want to go crazy and buy a case because there's a lot of stuff in here that I actually don't want. So I definitely, you know, will buy just just to open up for you guys, of course, because you know I love all my my subscribers. I love making videos for you guys. But anyway, guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you're gonna buy this set, and if you are. How much of it are you going to buy? Uh, just let me know down in the comment section down below. So until next time, YouTube, peace.